what's going on everybody today we got ourselves some madden gameplay here now playing ultimate team online and i got matched up with someone who had a team comparable to mine which doesn't happen very often it definitely doesn't happen um most of the time even some of the time this is like a once in a 25 game thing i get matched up with someone who's just got a team that's even close to mine so I wanted to show the gameplay because it was actually a close game um, this I mean I make a bad read there but it was a close game um, this kid is not too bad defensively and um, I mean it's just it's just one of those things I quite enjoyed and and I mean I couldn't get the ball running early it's just one of those things man but we did get the passing game going um, we make a couple bad reads here and there but we do get the passing game going just a little bit. He starts to um, he's controlling that middle linebacker there. Sometimes, sometimes he switches off. It's it's a very difficult thing to adjust to, if that's what you want to say. I mean, he gets the sack here. I mean, I tried to get rid of it, just couldn't. Thought I could get an outrun there, but we do get the screen, and we sneak in there and pick up the first down and keep the drive going. But we do suck up the entire first quarter, which is how I like to play. So that's kind of good. Just a little bit. But um, dropping passes there. Here we're in a difficult spot, mainly because of the way he plays D. But we do get out of it. I don't know why the camera angle went like that, but we do get out of it. And get the touchdown. Now, this is where it starts to go wrong. He's got Kaepernick. I'm immediately thinking, oh, okay, he's going to run around a little bit. First play, he sits back there and then rolls out to the right, buys himself some time, and gets open down the field. So I'm thinking, here we go. It's one of those things. So what we have to do when you're playing kids like that, you got to play a bit of man. Can't do zone. Zone will get killed. If you have to play man, play with some pressure, as we do here. Force him to throw it away. But he is one of those kids who's going to do this absolutely awful they got to get their act together over there on the sideline the fake is on and they're looking to pick up the first breaks free and he heads to on the side need I say more need I say more freaking hate this game with the freaking uh, I was even running a coverage for Christ's sake and he still gets by no one covers the punter of all people on a fake punt and he gets away then he gets in two plays later and now we're tied at seven now we're in a eh, not a spot I'd like to be in because I did get the ball first so I would like to go into the half with at least the lead now we got two minutes to get down the field and score here we got Danell getting away um, down the field and then we're hoping to get a couple of plays here and boom, we get one Larry Fitzgerald Hold on to the ball down there. Now we suck up a little bit of clock. And we got the ball down down to a minute, almost a minute, on the 12-yard line. So now we're in good shape. Hoping to at least run out the clock, if not score a touchdown. That's what that play was for, mostly. And, I mean, getting close to the end zone here. We're going to run a bit of... Run a bit of the hurry up, just to just to keep time here just in case we do get the first down we run ourselves a bit of a draw here hoping to catch him off guard just a little bit it's like a little bit more time you got to put in a time where they can't do anything where you still can get a playoff unfortunately we got caught on the lineman there have to kick a field goal but we go up 10-7 and that's no problem the biggest problem right now is defending this kid's offense it's a complete and utter nightmare with kids who like to run around with Kaepernick I hate that stuff so much I can't even fucking tell you but um here oof, I was close to that one went the other way but um we do still have to stop the offense unfortunately we switch back to zone here hoping to catch him hoping to just switch it up a bit and see if his strategy changes he's doing a couple short passes there but unfortunately it did not he makes I mean if you want to call him good reads he was just keeping in with his style and unfortunately he gains 40 50 yards on that one play alone and now we're back to the zone unfortunately I over committed to that one too quickly he gets another couple yards and here 
he is driving down the field inside the 10. Now I'm getting a little bit nervous because his defense is decent. And if I'm about to go down here, which is a huge problem. But Jonathan Joseph comes up big, undercuts that puppy, and off he goes for 90 yards and a touchdown. Jonathan Joseph saving the day right now, putting us up by 10. It's huge, huge pick six. Absolutely massive. But now we got the momentum. We're getting to his quarterback, as you can see there. We got the momentum. We got to hold on to that just to end this game. We got five and a half minutes to close out a 10-point lead. And right now, we just got to get to the quarterback, keep him from rolling out, which we do once again. And he overthrows that one just by a hair. Oof, man, that was close. But the idea with these running quarterbacks, guys, you keep them in the pocket and... Everything should go. So here we go on third down, and we actually get him to drop that pass. So we are actually going to punt, make him punt again. And surprisingly, surprisingly, he punts it. I'm pretty sure he punts it. And we actually running a defense. That's the unfortunate problem. I didn't think he'd actually do that again, but he did. Here he punts it again. Unfortunately, we had a defense out, so we let the ball go all the way down inside our five. Literally the nightmare scenario. So we're going to gain a couple yards here with Okoye. Hope to get some on the fullback dive. And here we go deep to Larry, and it's picked off. God damn it. It's picked off. We get a bit more aggressive than I normally do. Um, we get the sack on the next play, but that's a little bit more aggressive than I normally like to get. I normally don't ever really get super aggressive. Here he gets aggressive, and it pays off for him with the Garcon touchdown. Now we're only up by three. The third quarter hasn't ended yet. That quarter, or the last minute and a half, really did not go to plan. But we do get 20 yards on the run with McNabb over the middle. We kind of got our offense clicking a little bit. When I... When you get to move the ball, it clicks just a little bit. You get those confidence builder passes, but he gets me on the run. Here we just get enough to get the first down, which is absolutely huge. Now we've got two and a half minutes to kill this game. Get another pass completion. Actually break a tackle there. Get a couple extra yards, eight yards or so. Bring it down to the two-minute warning. Now all we need to do is just hold off on the ball. And, oh, we can't get the edge, and he stops us behind. Now it's a huge third down. We actually run up the middle. Don't get it, but we go with the fourth and inches. QB dive, and we get him to jump. We get him to jump, and we get the first down. Now we got a minute 16. He's got one timeout left, and Terrell Davis busts right up the gut. We'll sell you a little bit here. We normally don't have to unless we really killed the game and that touchdown really kill it we sell it a little bit get into the end zone and now we're back up 10 with a minute to go there he gets sacked all his timeouts are gone second and 13 52 seconds to go and we are pretty much in kill game mode right now and he's just i don't even know what you do in a situation like that a lot of people quit props to this guy for not actually quitting here he gets away from one. We actually don't get him until late. Kill some more clock. That's no big deal. He is going to run the quick quick out here. Actually, no receivers downfield. He is still trying to get quick first downs, but it is fourth and seven. And, oh, we th oh he's going to run away here. Thought we had him. Oh, and that guy actually holds on to the ball. Gets the first down. Now he's only got ten seconds to go. So pretty much a last second ditch shot down the field. Game is over at this point. We are in celebration mode. Let's it go deep. And Rogers Cromartie ends the game on a one-handed pick. What a game that was. Props to that guy for not actually quitting. Hope you enjoyed the game, guys. Stay tuned for more. We're going to do tons more gameplay. And that's it for now. So peace.
Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports. Jim Nance saying so long for now.